Hello, friend. May I call you friend? I believe in this idea. The idea of stages and a later stage beyond them. In the beginning, the early stages, we have these explosions within, experiencing the world loving, growing and becoming. And then, the next stage, young adult life and the energy drive. Building a family, a home, or if not, a movement, a career, anything. The thrill of yes, you can. You can belong, you can join in, you can participate. Earning money, surviving, or buying into something. You wake up one morning to the shock of being 30. But that's okay. You still pretty much look the same. And anyway, you don't have too much time to think about things because you're busy doing, or busy being busy. At least you're not 40. Well, 40 comes and goes, but you're still busy. Still distracted and preoccupied. Looking ahead, planning, hoping. Yes. Hope is all around. It will soon be time for the annual holiday, a couple of weeks off. And then, one day, you're old. You are retired. But then, suppose the idea of a later stage, one last metamorphosis. Your brain has been working every second, cramming itself with information. And now, in old age, it's packed full of life. A place of incredible resonances. You are old now. You are world-wise. One reason old people reply slowly is because every word, every reply, draws upon a lifetime of experience. Even if on the outside you are falling apart, your energy in old age is not less. It is now different. When you're old enough, you really are free. Open that brain up. Free your mind. Let go of ego, status, regrets. Let it all go so that your mind can find a way to move on, to find focus again and change once more inside. Say goodbye and prepare yourself to go on your final journey, migrating into yourself to open that as yet unused, undiscovered chamber in your brain so that you might change forward again one last time to make your way out through the open window with abandon to a new place we've never been before. Maybe somehow we can.